Welcome to the finale of the series, What Are the Odds? But first, an explanation of this NHL hockey jersey, number 99. Wayne Gretzky's jersey for the Edmonton Oilers. He was the captain, of course. You can see his name on the back. I donated blood for the 199th time this morning. So I wore this jersey. I bought this jersey 20 to 25 years ago for the partly because I was donating blood for the 99th time. I started in grade 12 at the age of 17. I've been giving ever since with very few interruptions. Your blood is very much needed all around the world. So wherever you are, please consider being a blood donor. You have to qualify, but um, in most cases, people can donate. So I just wanted to highlight that. Today I'm going to talk about odds versus probability. People tend to think that odds and probability are the same thing, but they're not. So let me explain that. Odds is the probability that something will happen to the probability that it won't happen. Or you could say the number of times it will happen to the number of times that it won't happen. That's not the same as probability, of course. Probability, let me do it over here. As we've seen many times before, is the number that you want divided by the total number of times it could occur. Basically, that's what it is. Now, instead of two, we often put a colon here. The colon is read two. So let's use number 99, Wayne Gretzky, as our example. Let's say Canadians were asked who the most famous hockey player has been up until the present day. And I would say there's a good chance that 99 out of 100 would say that. So we would say 99 to 1. Now that might be a slight exaggeration, but of course I'm picking 99 because of the jersey. The probability would be 99 out of 100. So as you can see, they're not the same thing. This is basically equal to 99, which is the numerator over here, but they're quite different. You can think of this symbol as division, which is why you can say it's 99. Okay, I'm not, I wasn't just intended, intending to talk about odds in this series, it was mostly about probability leading up to permutations and combinations, but that gives you an idea what odds are. So especially in sporting events, when they give the odds of someone winning, like in, let's say three to two, they're three times as likely to win as they are to lose. That's the general idea. Okay, it's been a pleasure to share this series. I'm gonna make a playlist out of it pretty soon. Like, subscribe, I much appreciate it. All the best.